Hey everyone, this is Heather again, and this is going to be a mini series on how to use stock profit for your swing plays. So, if you don't know what stock profit or what profit is, uh, please uh, watch our crash course. We have a, we have a video on what profit is, what are all of these columns mean, what do these filters mean. Please go ahead and watch this video. Uh, I'll also add that video uh, in the description of this video. So. Uh, we are going to in the series we are going to go over some examples uh, from from let's say one or two weeks ago we are going to see how we combine the, the predictions or the trade ideas from the profit tool uh, how do we combine this with price action and just uh, a little bit of your own research and due diligence and how do we then come up with really uh, excellent setups let's say we are going to go over both the the winners and the losers uh, the tool is about 70 percent accurate so you have to keep this in mind that there are always about 30 percent mistakes that the tool makes so that is why we always want to couple the the tools trade ideas with our own analysis based on price action because that's usually enough so about three to five minutes per each trade idea if you're interested in in it that should be more than enough as we'll see in this video so we are going to start with this scoop alert so whenever you open this tool you see the alerts for today but since today is may 2nd the, the latest alerts are from april 30th but i wanted to go back to see how the predictions from let's say april 19th work we had about six seven candles after this day and since this is a swing trade idea tool uh, i thought maybe six or seven candles would probably be good so we are going to start going over some of these trade ideas and see how we could have entered how we could have exited and how these trade ideas actually work because uh, this is a question that I get asked uh, on almost daily basis on how to actually choose these tools. We have so many trade ideas to go from. Uh, we have so many uh, trade ideas to choose from. How do we go about choosing the best ones? We're going to do some price action analysis to see uh, which trade ideas look good, which trade ideas looked bad, uh, and etc. So let's start. So the first trade idea is C double P coop. Uh, we have the price action bullish, and then we have the options AI bullish as well. And the confidence is about 94%. On this particular day, um, the price closed uh, about m minus 1%. Uh, and this, this was, I believe this was a red Monday. So th th that's why there are so many bullish predictions. When there, there is a red day, the tool can find out all these reversals that are going to happen in the next few days. So it's really good at it. So we have the highest confidence uh, trade idea here. The, the volume was about 0 0.61 million. Relative volume was nice. So anything. When relative volume is above 1, that's always nice. The average volume is about 0 0.94 million. We can see that the call volume was greater than put volume. There was almost no put volume and the call open interest is also greater than put open interest. So just looking at these details, it looks okay. There is nothing sort of extra extraordinarily good here, but let's actually go to the price section to see if we could have done anything. So I'm going to open poop here. And we need to let us see so april 19th was this so you can see this was a down day this is where the trade idea was given and this is where we are at right now so when the trade idea was given we were at about 32 right now we are at about 34 35 let's see if we could have had a really good entry so the the anchor vwap if you know anything about anchor anchor VWAP right now you know that we should actually anchor it from the the lowest lows in, in recent history so these this seems like the lowest lows right so let's anchor it from here actually 67 probably seems okay no no probably let's see 62 maybe all right, this seems good. So this was the anchored VWAP. We, we can see that this acted as a support here, but then it fell flat. So we, we can't really consider it a support anymore because it's now flat and we have actually broken it here. So let's zoom in here. So this was again, this, this was the candle. This was the candle when this trade idea came in. The next day we actually went down. The very next day we went down as well. So you, you might, since this is a swing trade idea, people just see how it went at the very next day and they think that this is just uh, an invalid idea but you have to remember that this is uh, a swing idea so it might take some days to pan out so we went down but then 
we had this doji where there was some indecision and then we finally reverse so let's see how we could have so here right here we don't have anything the only thing that we have here is that we are right at the 50 moving average support so let me zoom in this part you can see that we are right on the 50 moving average support so that would be a good thing so you might want to enter the very next day because again we are on the 50 moving average support so we, that, that might hold as a support level if you do enter on it you'll see that again we had this support level here as well if you entered here you are going to see that we broke that support level the very next day so your first entry let me label it your first entry right here would not have been a good one and that's just part of trading you're not going to get every single thing right so your first entry was not good but this seemed like an okay entry because we were sort of staying above the 50 moving average so we might sort of reverse and go up from here but we did not we went down let's see what else did we have so now after that point in time we had another strong support level so we broke this one but then we had a really nice support level here and you can see that we, we fell on that that support level and let's the rsi was 40 okay and then we had a doji which is an indecision candle and which can sometimes tell us about a possible reversal coming and since the tool had told us that both options and price action was looking bullish we are just going with the tool because let's say we believe the tool we're just adding more confidence so now here you can see that we have this uh, we have this support area and you can see the next day we just went up and we have not stopped going back up after that day so we had this resistance so probably let's say if we buy 100 shares here again then we want to do a partial exit if we we stop here and start to go back but we did not stop here at all we just kept going up and up and from this point in time from 30 to about 35 that's a five dollar increase and that's that's this five dollar is a really good amount our loss let's say if we, we entered here loss was let me see loss was around i believe two dollars per share yeah so we, we lost two dollars per share we gained about five dollars per share back so that's a three dollar per share profit again a decent profit but that's how you are going to enter and exit into these alerts you, you always want to spend a few minutes looking at the chart to see what are some of those levels let's see what the okay nice 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 so we can always use the the our algorithm to draw the support and resistance lines and you can see that it didn't draw this one because this might have not been a strong support level but it did draw this one as a strong support level and we absolutely sort of nailed it here we went back right from here so this was fantastic so all right again this was not a cherry picked alert we, we are just trying to go uh, one alert uh, at a time all right so this is it for this video in the next video i am going to start going over some of the other alerts so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you